In this video, I'll be going through the process of replacing the hard drive on this Dell Inspiron 15 laptop. It's the 7568 2-in-1 model. Um, it comes standard with a hard drive disk HDD. We're going to upgrade it to a solid state drive SSD. And the reason for this upgrade is uh, just a... Uh, to improve the functionality of the hard drive and improve performance of the laptop overall. I got the laptop in, did the standard cleaning and tune up, and I myself noticed that the laptop was in fact performing slower than what I would expect to be normal. Ran diagnostics on the hard drive. Hard drive actually passed the diagnostics. Uh, but just from experience, uh, knowing that when these uh, hard disk drives, uh, before they fail, they just start slowing down all the processes on your machine. And uh, things just take a lot longer than they did when you first got the machine. So first, I'll remove the battery. It's usually about four or five screws that hold the battery down. Take those screws out and you'll be able to lift up the battery. In this case, as you can see, pulled it right out of there. So in this one, there's not a ribbon. The connector's built onto the battery, and it just presses down onto the motherboard. In other laptops, there will be a cable that runs from the battery that plugs into the motherboard. In this instance, we have a cable that goes from the hard drive and plugs in to a connector on the motherboard here. So we just un connect the connector leading back to the hard drive and then we will uh, get our screwdriver and remove the screws from the hard drive usually there's about two to four screws remove them and you can lift the hard drive disk right off of the um, laptop there may be a small piece of black tape or something holding it down to the laptop you just pull it off and in this case, the connector is removable from the actual uh, HDD, hard disk drive. So I unplugged it, take the screws out of the little carriage that is holding the hard disk, usually four screws. And once we remove the carriage, you'll see that the hard disk drive is, looks like this. These are the two and a half inch hard disk drive. Next, uh, we have the replacement solid state drive. And this is a Pioneer brand solid state drive. As you can see, it's the same size, uh, two and a half inch, much lighter than a uh, hard disk drive uh, because it doesn't have the platter and the discs inside. Uh, got a pretty good deal on this too. These are not expensive these days. So we'll uh, put the solid state drive into the carriage and reinsert all of the screws that came out of the carriage. Um, these are all pretty standard. If it's a two and a half uh, inch hard disk drive, the screw holes will be the same size. They'll be in the same place on every laptop. Um, so nothing to worry about there. Get the screws put back in and then uh, we can reconnect the uh, SATA connector to the hard or to the uh, solid state drive and place it back down onto the laptop in the location we removed it from and then we'll uh, replace the screws uh, that hold down the uh, hard drive carriage. After tightening down the screws we'll simply follow the wire over to the connector and reconnect it to the motherboard of the laptop um, just by pressing down these types of connectors, just press down onto uh, the female end, which is embedded on the motherboard. Usually while I'm in here, I go ahead and reseat the RAM. This has an eight gigabyte RAM chip. Remove it, blow it off, slide it back in and press down. While we have these open, we usually blow out the fan as well and blow out any dust. Then we can replace the battery back in its location, run the uh, 
hard drive wire back through the little holder that is right on the top side of the battery and then replace all of the screws in the battery. Uh, once the battery uh, screws are replaced and everything's tightened back down, this is where I would start my testing because the next step is to put the rear cover uh, back on. And I can't tell you how many times I've put the rear cover back on, replaced all of the screws only to have to take them all back out because the hard drive didn't get seated all the way like I thought it did, or I need to test something, the hard drive was bad, and I need to test a known good one, <laughs> whatever the case may be. It's probably a good idea to, before you reinstall the rear panel, to go ahead and uh, turn your laptop up on its side and power it on. Uh, in this case, uh, my plan was to just clone the uh, SSD off of the regular hard drive and install it but I uh, I went ahead and instead of doing that in this case I just went ahead and installed the SSD and I will reinstall the operating system via USB after I'm sure uh, that the hard drive can be seen by the system once I make that verification then I'll begin the OS installation process and that's going to be the end of the hard drive upgrade. Um, I hope this has been a helpful video. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. And until next time, see you later.